What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another episode of Six Scale News. Let's get to it. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. Episode 34 of Six Scale News. Hope you guys are excited about this. I am, got a lot of cool stuff going on. And yes, I, I wanted to showcase this. If you didn't check out the last video where I unboxed this amazing Sideshow Collectibles 1 6 scale diorama, which is actually for a G.I. Joe figure. G.I. Joe, back from 2009. Uh, go check out that video, I'll put a link up here. Uh, super cool, uh, if you were like part of the premiere, part of the Facebook group, you probably already bought up whatever stock was available on eBay and Mercari and all those places, but if you happen to find one, might wanna pick it up, it's kinda cool. We're gonna be doing a lot of photos with this on Instagram uh, a little later on. So we're gonna time to uh, open up the book, you guys know what's up. So uh, I hope you guys are excited about this. I am. Um, it's been interesting. I, I've I've got a little, I've got a little bone to pick with with Hot Toys. Honestly, um, today I'm recording this on January 25th, 2021, which means it has been 24 days in the states 25 if you're in the overseas 24 days since they have released a figure what the hell what's going on what are they doing over there that's crazy right uh I, when's the last time we went this long without a figure release uh if you guys are back there in the uh the hot toys analytics uh let me know in the comment section down below i'm trying to think back like in even in 2020 there was a lull in announcements, but it seemed like pretty much every week or every other week, we were getting a figure release. Now, stuff announced, even if it took forever, like from the announcement of that particular figure, it seemed like every week we were getting uh, an actual figure release. Uh, and now it we, we saw the Heavy Mando on January 1st, and we saw the Spider-Man Mark IV armor uh, on January 1st. And since then, nothing. We've been teased a lot. The, they'll say, hey, look, there's something, so, you know, so-and-so's coming, and then they move it, and then they move it, and then they move it. It's like, what are they doing? So uh, I can't be the only one frustrated with that. I know you guys are. I know there's people really, really wanting uh, in-game cap. Uh, I know there's people wanting Hellboy, and there's people wanting quarter-scale Spider-Man. Uh, there's, I mean, plenty of other figures out there we need to get. And um, I, I don't know. I'm a little, what are your guys' thoughts on that right now? You might, and some of you might be going, thank God, I need more time to pile up some cash uh, to pay for what I've got pre-orders in. And I get that too. Uh, but for content creators, it kind of kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So this past week, uh, I actually spent a, a decent amount of time hunting for things to uh, to buy. And I, I've got other stuff I've got, you know, videos made coming up for you guys. But I was actually looking for stuff to buy uh, because there was nothing coming inbound. I'm like, okay, well, um, I, you know, you got, you got an itch and you want to scratch it. I, I, so I ended up with a diorama piece, which is not bad because it costs like half the price of a six scale figure. Um, but uh, I was on the hunt for something. So here's the deal. One of the figures I was on a hunt for, and I need your help with this. And you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. I am on the hunt for a Batman figure. Yes, I know. I'm on the hunt for a Batman figure. So here's what I need help with, okay? I wanna know which Batman figure I should get. That's it. And uh, put it down below, give me the MMS number if you know it, if you're the movie or whatever it is. Which version of Batman would you recommend for you Batman collectors out there? What's the best Batman? What is it? Uh, I have zero experience with a Batman figure and I've got other you know, Batman figures coming in, they're, they're going to be in a releasing Batman Beyond. We're definitely going to be unboxing and reviewing that here on the channel. Uh, but I kind of want, I kind of want to unbox, I kind of want to check out a Batman. Uh, so, um, yeah, which one should we do? Let me know. If you happen to have a Batman that you would like to sell, it's, then let me know by that too, if it's the right figure. Um, so that, that's kind of an interesting uh, thing that's happening over the past little bit. 24 days, no figure releases. That is crazy. Now, the last episode of Six Scale News, I made an announcement and then literally they 
they announced the Dark Trooper, which we're definitely going to talk about. So that's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll get there in a little bit. Uh, in fact, I forgot to write something in my book, so I'm going to write this down right now. I added it to the book in the video, so you know it's legit. Okay. Um, so interesting stuff. So uh, in addition to that, we had uh, the, the lull in releases. Uh, we had the announcement of the Dark Trooper, which, like I said, we'll talk about in here in a second. Um, but there's been some other stuff happening. So I made a video last week. I think it was actually about a week ago, uh, where I was comp I was preparing for the in-game Captain America, and I was getting hyped up. I'm like, cool, we got another Cap coming. I've got like five or six, seven Captain Americas, whatever it is. So I got all these Captain Americas out on the table. And I was just like showcasing these caps. I was like, hey, look, this one's cool, this one's cool. I like this one better and this one, that whatever, that kind of stuff. You can check that video out up here if you want to. And I made this comment and I stand by it. I've been saying it for a year, two years, however long I've had this figure, that the concept art Captain America is the best Captain America. If it had been red, white, and blue in colors, that would be the grail Captain America. But since it's concept and he's all black stealth out, it's not in a film like a lot of people were sleeping on that figure but the fact of the matter is it has the best proportions of any of the captain americas go back and watch that video and you'll see what i mean the shoulders the waist uh the traps the the length er everything about that captain america body is perfect minus the paint so when i made that video a pile of you went out and uh per picked up that uh, that figure and it literally it just sold out in like two days boom gone so you guys are savages out there and if you wanted that figure i hope you got it you had like two and a half years to get it and i'm seeing people in the facebook group who are getting it delivered and they're all excited about it and happy for it and it's awesome and yes i will do a posing video for the concept art captain america i will do one uh, it might take me a week or two or whatever whenever you get around to it but i will make one for you guys who just recently picked that up uh to help you out because honestly it's a it's just a great figure so i uh, hope you were uh able to get that if you wanted to it didn't even go waitlist it just went sold out not gone so that was interesting the other figure that sold out was the og mando that one sold out uh, we made uh, some posts in the Facebook group that went to waitlist and then it kind of came off waitlist for like an hour Then it went back on waitlist and then boom it just went to sold out. It's gone OG Mando is out and as soon as that happened that thing went from $245 retail to $43 and now over the past week has been selling for over $400 on eBay Facebook groups these kind of things and um, I'm not shocked at that whatsoever. I've been telling you about this figure for shoot six months at least like when they announced it, before it was even like in the States, I told you about this thing that as soon as it sold out, it's gonna go crazy and it was. And I think a lot of people, what they were doing is they were saying, hey, look, um, that I've, the best car Mando's got the child, it's got all the accessories and that's the version I wanna get because I'm only gonna get one Mando and I totally understand that. But then the, uh, the, the appeal of that, you know, first version of Mando kind of jumped up and uh, bit some people. And a lot of people wanted it and they bought it and it's gone. So I hope you're able to get one. I actually still have one sitting in my truck right now and I probably should go get it out and throw it in storage. Um, but it's just, it's just sitting there. I mean, I opened it, I picked it up from UPS and sitting right there, it's been there for two weeks. Um, but I, that, I mean, that figure is over 400 bucks. I, I don't think 400 is the top end of that figure. I don't think 400 is the top. I think we're gonna see it hit five. Um, now it might take us a little bit to get there, but I think we're going to see that thing hit five. It might go over that. I don't know. Um, it's a beautiful figure. It's a beautiful piece. And I hope you were able to get it close to retail. If you can get it for 400 or less, I would go ahead and pick it up if you want it. I don't, I don't like condone or recommend people paying over retail very often, but I think this piece, I don't see it getting a re-release. They're doing all the best car versions of this. we got a season two, which we're going to talk about a little bit. Um, if you can get it for under 400 bucks, like shipped to your door, I don't think that's terrible. Uh, if you were to get that figure from Sideshow at retail, it's 243. You got sales tax, you got shipping, you're looking at almost 300 bucks. So 400 is not terrible in the aftermarket world uh, for a hype figure and hype character. It's not terrible, um, but uh, it's still better to be able to get it less than that. Now, if you want, I made a trick, I made, I made a video on how to find sold out figures. I'll put a link for it up here. I give you the details on how to find re local retailers in your area or maybe outside of your area if you wanna travel. Make some phone calls, try to find it at retail. 
because you might find a comic shop, a mom and pop shop, somebody who has one in stock that just nobody bought and you can still get it for retail. That would be way better than paying $400 for it. So definitely check that out, guys. Uh, it's one of those, you know, under the behind the scenes stuff that not a lot of people think about, but you really should take advantage of before you go hit eBay um, or uh, Facebook Marketplace or whatever, okay? So OG uh, Mando sold out. The other thing is interesting. So I unboxed uh, a few weeks back, I unboxed the 40th anniversary of uh, Boba Fett, the Del uh, Deluxe. And so um, this is a, a reissue of the Deluxe Boba Fett from Empire with a new box. And that's all it is. It's a $20 price bump, new box, that's it. Uh, but the interesting thing I noticed on Sideshow as I was shopping for things, um, I noticed on Sideshow's site, they, they're limiting that to one per person. That's interesting. Why would they limit that to one per person? Small batch, small issue size, small, uh, maybe I, it's an exclusive. It's not really exclusive though, is it? I don't know, it's weird. Um, if you want a FET and you like the deluxe, get that. No question they're gonna release more FETs. Like it's not even a question. We're gonna get so many FETs in the near future that I've, you know, I, I don't have a lot of, I don't think there's much reason to have FOMO for this particular FET. Uh, but if you want a FET and you like Mandos and you don't wanna wait two years or three years for the next one, then it's not a bad one to pick up at retail now. It's not even shipping from Sideshow yet and they've already limited it to one per person. The deluxe one already sold out. I mean, it's just, it's a thing. So that's interesting. And I'll have links for these uh, these uh, figures down below, guys, if you wanna pick these things up. And remember, if you pick up anything from Sideshow or uh, Pop Collectibles or Collector's Zone or whatever, use my links down below and it helps out the channel. Very much appreciate it. Every time you use a link, one of my links to buy something from one of these guys, you actually get five posing points and it'll help you pose your figures better. Science, just saying, science. I may have just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> so we got 40th anniversary FET. We've got Concept Cap. We've got OG Mando. And then last week they announced the uh, Dark Trooper, which I'm hyped about. And at the same time, I'm kind of like, eh. I, I, I don't know where you guys are at with that. Let me know. Um, are, there, let, me, let, me, let me back this thing up. The Dark Trooper soon, uh, scene in Mando was amazing. To get it back from like video game from way back when and, and to get it into um, you know, on screen is epic. It's amazing. Uh, they did a great job with that. Um, but I have, some, I have some issues with this particular figure and uh, I wanna be careful with this because I don't wanna ruin anybody's hype on this figure. I don't, if you're excited about it, if you, may, you may have already purchased one of them, 10, 10 of them, six of them, whatever it is. So I don't wanna no, get on that. Uh, I have my concerns, but I also had concerns about Solo Mall. I was wrong about that. So I will throw that out there. Um, but looking at the actual blogger photos of this stuff or the, the promo photos, the paint looks amazing. The bright red eyes look amazing. Um, it, it's a cool figure. Um, the joints on it look like K2SOs with that circular joint, but I, they look like they're ratcheted. So I think they're gonna have, at least fingers crossed they're ratcheted. So they'll actually be able to hold the weight and won't get loose. Uh, I think it's a very, very cool figure. Um, the price point of the stateside price point is $260. Uh, obviously, plus your taxes and sh shipping and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, 260 bucks is, is, is pricey for me. Now, let me, let me let me kind of explain this a little bit. For $260, actually for less than $260, you can get a 501st Clone Trooper Deluxe. So many more accessories. So many more. Nostalgia-wise, so much more nostalgia uh, on the 501st Deluxe. You got a 332nd helmet if you want that one. You got the Phase 1, you got Phase 2, you got all the helmets, you got all the hands, the blasters, the rifles, the jetpacks. You got so much more bang for the buck on that figure. Whereas on the Dark Trooper, the price of admission is the engineering and the remold and casting and all the stuff of this brand new uh, molded figure they're, they're creating. Uh, there's no die cast. They're not advertising any die cast parts in it. So they're advertising it to be all plastic. Although K2SO said all plastic and then the lower half of him is actually, or the lower knee part of below him is actually die cast for balance purposes, I guess. Um, I think the better bang for the buck here is buying something else. I really do. Um, so I will obviously be getting one. I'll probably be getting two because I have like a rule of two on troopers, Sith rule of two. 
Um, I just think troopers look better in pairs. Um, but uh, the I don't know that it's for everybody. So I that's my thought. What are your guys' thoughts on the dark trooper? I just I just don't see it's a must have for every collector. If you're a hardcore, if you want every figure from Mando, get it. It's cool. Um, but I don't feel like it's one for everybody at this point. At this point, I just don't see it. So I think you got time. So I would tap the brakes on that one. I would just think about that a minute. It's not gonna sell out anytime soon. You got plenty of time to pre-order it. Uh, but I would I would ponder that one and whether or not you wanna dump $320, $300 on a figure that you're probably only gonna get one of. Most people aren't gonna buy two. And um, is there something else you'd rather spend that $300 on? Because chances are, probably is. So there's that. Um, but I will definitely be getting one. We will definitely review it here and we'll give our thoughts in a year from now when it actually uh, shows up. So that's my thoughts on that. But more importantly than the Dark Trooper was actually what was in the Dark Trooper photos, which was Mando Luke, which I told you guys, I told you it was gonna happen. I told you not to pay stupid money for a freaking Jedi Luke. Four, five, six hundred dollars. It's stupid money for a Jedi Luke. That figure is nowhere worth any of that. Um, but a lot of people did uh, pay up for that Luke because they were impatient and because they weren't watching six scale news. So guys, tell your friends they need to freaking watch the news if you got six scale collectors and Facebook groups and Reddits and whatever else. Tell them to subscribe and turn on notifications because I'm telling you, I'll save you some money. Uh, I'll also cost you some money too because you'll buy more figures. And um, that's also my fault. But the um, the Mando Luke's gonna look great. Uh, it's definitely, the way I know it's different, obviously he's got the black cloak, he's got the black glove, which on the Jedi Luke he doesn't come with, unless you do the switch out arm, which I never do. Um, so that one's gonna be cool. I, I expect to see that one announced fairly soon. I don't think they're gonna tease us with that. Uh, with the Shore Trooper, they teased us with that for about a month, somewhere around that ballpark. And then they finally announced that figure. It might take them that long to announce uh, Jedi Luke, but it'll definitely be getting one uh, for the channel. So maybe you can find one uh, less than that $600 price point now <clears throat> that we know uh, we're going to be getting a Mando Luke. So maybe let me know your thoughts on that one. Now, the other figure, but which is not really even an announcement because, <clears throat> excuse me, because we knew it was already coming months and months back, which was the season two. Mando um, with the Beskar armor, the full Beskar armor. He's got the Beskar uh, spear. He's got all the stuff that he used in the last episode uh, of season two. So we knew that was coming. Everybody's like, oh my God, another Mando. We're going to do another Beskar Mando. It's coming, guys. It's like Spider-Man, Iron Man. They're going to do all kinds of versions. We'll get a version three. At some point, he'll get an upgrade because that's what heroes do in films. Look at Luke. Look at how many Luke Skywalker figures we have. It's crazy. It's like a dozen of them. It's nuts. So three Mandos, not terrible. Uh, but it's um, it, it's definitely going to be exciting. I'm definitely going to be picking that up, uh, and I'm excited to see. Hopefully it comes out soon, and I think we're going to see it two versions. We're going to see um, one version with uh, Mando and the swoop bike, kind of like we saw with the scout trooper and the swoop bike uh, with the child on the saddle, uh, satchel and everything, and I think we'll see a separate uh, Mando as well because not everybody's going to want the swoop bike. And just like they did with the Scout Trooper, we saw Scout Trooper alone, and we saw Scout Trooper with the bike. I think they're gonna do the same thing uh, with Mando. So I hope you guys are excited about that because I am I'm pretty stoked about that, honestly. I wanna give a shout out to Trevor Murphy for winning this month's patron giveaway, the six scale Hot Toys giveaway we do every month as one of my patron members. You can check it out. We get several tiers. One of the tiers, we actually give away a Hot Toy figure every month, and it's super awesome. And this month, uh, he actually won. I got it right here, actually. Got, got box it up for him. Literally just happened. Uh, the Spider-Man Mark IV armor. We're actually giving this away. Actually, I already gave it away. Shipping it to him. And uh, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna be sending that down to him uh, in the next day or so. So super excited for that. He was uh, able to win that. I think last month we gave away John Wick. Previous month we gave away an OG Mando. I think for February, and we're on the fence with this. So you guys give me some feedback on this. But I think we're going to give away a mark 85 i think that's kind of where i'm leaning we'll see how it goes uh, we'll see how the uh, the group kind of decides and votes and whatever um but uh, i think we're going to give away a mark 85 iron man in february so if you want to check out the patreon you can check it out down below i did this past week create a specific private 
patron uh, Facebook group that you only have access to there. And if you want to join that, you can definitely do that. Or you can join the regular patrol Facebook group, which is almost 6,000 people in there right now. It is crazy. So welcome to all you people who have joined in the past little bit. Uh, but if you want to check out Jetta's, uh, called Jetta's Death Star, you can check that out. Uh, there's a link down below for Patreon. I think it's five bucks a month or something like that to join, support the channel, have some good times, and you get some behind the scenes videos and uh, some stuff that you're not going to see on the channel, you will see in that group. So. Yeah, check that out if you like. Last but not least, I've got something pretty exciting to talk to you guys about. I am looking for the best posers. I'm looking for the best posers out there to take place in a 1-6 scale posing tournament for the ages. It's going to be amazing. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to take a 6 scale figure. You don't have to have a giant collection, but you need to have a few to choose from. Take a 6 scale figure record a video of you and why you should be a contestant on the tournament and post it to Instagram with the hashtag poser of the week. That's what I'm looking for guys. So we're gonna pick uh, a small number. We're gonna go head to head and kind of like a bracket style system. Uh, may call it a sweet 16, if you will. It's gonna be super exciting. There will be prizes. It will be a lot of fun. And I think we'll, uh, we'll have some fun as far as seeing what poses we come up with, what challenges we come up with. And it's gonna be taking place over the next a uh, little bit. So I'm looking for those. And you got a little bit of time to enter. So just take your favorite pose, get a great pose, show it on the video, put it on Instagram, and let me know why you can showcase the pose. Let me know why you should be as part of the tournament. And um, that's pretty pretty much it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Super excited about that. I've got some some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff in store for that. So uh, stay tuned for that. But that is going to close the book for this episode of Six Scale News. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers this year. And I can only do that if you hit the button. That's pretty much it. And turn on your notifications because honestly, I got all kinds of crazy stuff going on and I'm super excited to show it with uh, you. If you haven't already joined the Facebook group, definitely please do that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's it. I have spoken. Guys, as always, collect what you like. See you next time.